Hi, people, this is the Indigo Experiment, and welcome back to more Okami. Last time, we finished up the sunken ship. We did not find the fox rods, however, that I was looking for, but we did find this, the lucky mallet, which is now attempting to lead us somewhere, so we're following it. Also, we almost got um, eaten by the water dragon, but that's just kind of a side benefit. No, it's like the exact opposite of a benefit. This is like a job hazard. I wonder if Ami gets paid. Well, I guess she gets paid in praise. I don't really know. Nor do I pretend to, because uh, my nose is itchy. Yeah, that is a complete non sequitur and made no sense whatsoever. But let's just roll with it, because it's not like I can rewind time, no matter how much I wish I could. Let's just save here. Save has been completed. Okay, yeah, let's just keep going. Um, <sighs> so, this... Well, now that I've kind of figured out how my... um how this freaking headset behaves when it powers down after 15 minutes for no reason. But, um, you know. <sighs> it's something to keep an eye on. That is a really cool looking palace. I mean, I'm not sure if there's actually like a floating decal up there or if um, whoever built it just took advantage of the low draw distance of this universe, which would be equally impressive, really. So let's head in here, keep on moving. Keep on moving, I don't even care about you right now. Where'd the mallet go? Huh? Wait, hang on, where's the mallet? I mean, I know where to go, but did this get- Oh, there it is, it just vanished for no good reason, okay. So, you know, I don't really care about you. I just, I don't care about anyone here. You are all god food to me. Yeah, I just do nice things to you so that I can get praise and then I can grow in power. And power is awesome or something. I don't even know why I'm doing this in such a sing-song voice. It's really kind of dumb. But, um, yeah, over here, there's this little crack in the wall. This mallet, as has been, um, well, already very... <laughs> ah, you're so nice to know that you're being honest. But, um, yeah... Basically, like, there's a little crack in the wall, and yes, I could yawn! And I could also just blow up the wall, but, um, you know, that would kind of be blowing up the wall of the Imperial Palace, and that might be more collateral damage that a goddess is willing to create, although we've created quite a lot of collateral damage, just, um, you know, I am ready, I am gonna get so hammered. You don't even know. I wonder if it's gonna shrink E soon too. Well, I mean, what would happen if it did? But yeah, okay, so I, I don't even know. I'm just saying things because, yeah, I just, huh. So he doesn't even have to hammer it all. That could've been nice and cartoony, but I don't know. And suddenly flying Ami because, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. I, I don't even know. I'm just talking during a loading screen. I really shouldn't be doing this. But I am doing it, so screw you! Okay, um, so in goes the green ball. Poof. That's that's me. It, it's, it, it was me all along. I, I think that wasn't even a surprise. Yes, what is it? Oh my god, you are the most adorable thing in the universe, seriously. You, uh, <sighs> Seriously, look at him. Oh, uh, Ami! No! He's adorable. Wait, now he's not bouncing like 80 feet in the air, even though he could be, because, well, you know, that's what he's been doing. Like, all the time, forever. So. Oh yeah, wandering artist is soon. Times a thousand. So, what are you? No, you're not. You're adorable. You're a little kid. I want to keep you like in a little jar on my desk. Okay, yeah, that's a horrible thing to say to a sentient being. But um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe um, Eason just like very convincingly mimics speech. I don't know. Probably not. <sighs> Maybe, maybe Eason just kind of, like, you know, doesn't understand English at all, or Japanese at all, I guess, but, um, <laughs> but just says words, and then eventually, you know, like, 
Like, he just says things, like, makes noises, and somehow it always turns up to, out to be perfectly relevant English. Yep. Those are the smallest chains of the universe. Who made those? That would be- that's some incredible craftsmanship. Anyway, here, we can get Isun over there to open things and also steal from enemies. Huh. Oh, why? Okay, um, well, I generally don't clean up my own bloody aftermath. Hello. Yeah, um, I wasn't even looking at the screen there. I was looking at the um, audio readings of my DLE thing. So, here's a save point. Let's use it. Within the Imperial Palace, we march onwards, and there's the tiny lockjaw. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, I keep pressing C because I think that like first person, but it's not. Uh. Oh my god, you are horrifying! I love you! Oh, I want to keep you as a pet! It's all spiky, and it has a. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I wish I didn't have the face, though. That face just kind of ruins the whole adorable spider deal. I like it. Yep. So this thing is, um... Yes, uh... No, it's more like, um... Yeah, I'm leaving. Why is this guy just standing there? Where's his other foot? Ah! Okay. Whatever. Um... You know, I'll, I'll deal with it. I can I can deal with this. It's just, um... Why can Isun fly anyway? Oh, well, I don't really care. Yep. Um... Okay, Is Okay, I mean, yeah, I know you that you have your heart set on Rao, but, um, you know, I, I don't know. I have my heart set on Rao. I don't really. Because all we needed in this day and age is more godly charms. Seriously. And a traveler's charm, too. Okay, do they even want me to be able to lose? Because the way things are going now, I don't really see it. Um, okay, yeah, I'd probably just jinx myself really hard right now. Okay, this thing is like a thunder rage bear. I forget what it's called. Um, I might look it up in the bestiary. I actually like the bestiary entries, but you know. It's basically the same as a thunder ear. I'm going to launch you at a monster! Oh, okay, yeah, so you still can. So, let's just, you know, do this, do this, all this nonsense. And I wonder, like, is your floral finish a wind? No, is it power slash? Yes, it is! Alright, so floral finisher for the Thunder Bearer is power slash. And now you know! Yeah, let's actually look to see what, what this thing's name is. I've been meaning to do this for every enemy, but um, I guess I just really haven't been. All right, I'm guessing it's this thing. Yep, Thunder Doom Mirror. Okay, so the mirror was used by an actor, was struck by lightning, and became fit. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That is the stu- Okay, I was just, um, okay, apparently the washing machine is open, uh, but I am busy at the moment and priorities are a thing. Okay, look, you know I said this is the stupidest thing ever? No, I'm wrong. Bad acting causes it to appear and rain thunder down is the stupidest thing I've ever heard, and you should feel ashamed. Well, okay, it will leave if the acting... <laughs> so it's just like, you know what, screw you, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. When you see clouds, so I guess, um, bad actors, well, I like the idea, actually, of, a, of you know, an actual demon that comes in to kill people who who are bad actors. It's, oh, it's a little cicada shell. Oh, hello, I'm going to murder you. Oh, you had peach, like, really tiny peaches inside. Okay. Ugh. All right, so let's try not to die horrendously. And, um... Let's go up here and just blow up this wall because apparently trying not to die horrendously is no longer on the agenda. I don't know. Exorcism slip S. Completely worth it in every way possible. Okay, not really, but um, uh, it, it's a thing. Uh, I just freaking camera changing angles. So let's just stay away from you, very far away from you, in fact. Ah, uh, okay, um, no, go away, go away, okay. 
So you're going to stomp there. I'm going to get on your foot. And then, um, hmm, let's see. Yup, I got up there. Grab this thing and blow up the wall because apparently you can't see what's going on. I don't know. Really though, just... <sighs> Golden Peach. Seriously though, there is no possible way if you are diligent enough that you will die in this game. I mean, you know, at least in um, Zelda with fairies, which hold more or less the same, um, you know, like, the same the significance or use as um, as the astral pouch in this game. In that one, like it's um, if I can say words, like you know those you get them by exploring. You know, I mean, like in Ocarina of Time, there are fairy fountains everywhere. Um, it means that we have the golden or the lucky mallet because yeah, but um. I'm yawning! <sighs> I'm yawning really hard! I don't know why... Okay, um, Isun. Isun, you're paranoid and kind of stupid because there are things in the universe that aren't evil and trying to kill us. I know it's really hard to believe, but okay, like half the screen's glitching out right now, I just noticed. This has actually happened every single time I've played this game, and in Chugga Conrad's Let's Play, which um, is part of what inspired me to do this game in the first place. But, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, the Wii version has quite a few graphical glitches going on. Oh, it's happening again. Yeah, that is definitely not supposed to be happening. So, Kaguya, that is a familiar name. We've heard it quite a few times, and we know that she is indeed the granddaughter of the Bamboo Lady. And, um, why is she wearing a space helmet? Seriously, that's anachronistic and very stupid. But, um, I don't know, it's not as stupid as bad acting causes it to appear and rain thunder down. Okay, uh, look, just stop mooning over her. Pun not intended. Uh, uh, uh. Isun, I don't like you. You haven't done anything. I've done all of the work. Just, uh, I don't even know why I'm still talking. Well, I guess it's because I'm doing a Let's Play. That's kind of what I do. But, you know, um, the, uh, the, 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 where'd the, um, key in my mouth go? Oh, well, I don't really care. Yes, let's go. Let's have this cutscene end already. Just, uh, Okay, there's the key, at least. So, let's just keep going. So, well, as you just read, um, we have a new mission, which is to save Kaguya. But, um, let's crack this thing open. And, um, yeah, I think, I'm not sure if I should go any further, or, you know what? Hmm. I think that we've gone on for just about long enough. So I'm gonna go back and save my game right now. There's probably not going to be any more Okami for a pretty long time because I won't be at home. And I also won't be, um, well, able to record because of schoolwork and stuff. So, ahem, this has been the Indigo Experiment. Next time, we're going to go further into the Imperial Palace in our tiny little forms with Isun adorably riding on her back. Just look at him! Look at his eyes! His little button nose! But, um, yeah, anyway. We're gonna keep going, see what we can find. This has been the Indigo Experiment, and I will see you next time. Bye!